Hey friends, welcome back to art class with me, Mr. Blakely. We are going to be drawing a pirate ship today, just like this one on screen. Um, so this should be fun. I like drawing pirate ships. Um, this, the inspiration for this, I'm actually going to show you here, is a book. It's this book right here, How I Became a Pirate, by Melinda Long and David Shannon. Originally, I considered reading this book story to you at the beginning of the video and then having you draw but that would have made a really long video so what i'm going to do is link uh a youtube video of someone else reading it actually a really good reading of it down in the description so if you want to read this book which is a really cool book with really cool um, illustrations by david shannon um you definitely can so get rid of this here for a second okay anyway so we're going to be drawing this pirate ship today um, I'm going to go through step by step and yeah, at the end, go ahead and color it. Feel free to refer back to this if you want to like art, if you're like, what color should it be? Um, but yeah, I'm going to get this off the screen and we will go ahead and draw. And don't forget, if you want to hear that story read to you and see all the illustrations, just click on the link down in the description. All right, here we go. All right, let's draw our pirate ship. Now, I'm going to start off by being a little bit um, different, right? You usually think you draw the pirate ship first, you draw all the background elements last, but I'm actually going to draw one of the background elements, or foreground elements in this case, first, and that is the waves. It's something people don't think about a lot. When they draw a boat, they just draw like the whole boat, including the part that would be underwater, and then you have to have the waves either, you have to erase part of it or whatever. I'm going to draw the waves first. So here we go. They're going to be right here. And I'm going to draw this. It's a line and then sort of the waves that our pirate ship are creating uh, as it's going along. And I'll come back and do some more waves in the background and stuff afterwards, but I wanted to get that down first. All right. First things first, let's draw the hull of the boat, the part that's in the water. So coming right out of here, we're going to go up like that. And coming out of the back here, we're going to go up like that. That's your first move. All right, next up, I'm actually going to start a little bit in here. And you'll see why in a second. We're going to go out past the edge, and we're going to go up to the top. On this side, we're going to do this. We're going to start here. We're going to make a swirl that touches the edge there and comes up like that. I just, oops, I just fell a little bit short here, so I'm going to make sure I connect that. Um, there we go. Okay. Now we're going to make the rail and we're going to make the different decks. No, oh, for some reason, this didn't touch either. There we go. Okay. So, Next thing is we're going to start here and I'm going to make a line it goes out, up, and back. And that's the very front of the ship that is called the bow of the ship. I'm trying to remember all these nautical terms in my head. Okay. Coming down, this is going to be the rail by the deck. It's going to go down and over and it's going to do like a stair step thing and go all the way out to here to connect to the back of the ship. All right, now the top part here. We're gonna basically follow that along. So, let's connect that up there, we go down, we go over and stair step like we did there. But there's gonna be just a slightly, another deck that goes just like that. Hopefully y'all are following along with this okay. Let's connect it like that. All right, there's our pirate ship so far. I'm basically just going to build this bottom to top, front to back. And it all makes sense when you see the final. I mean, you've already seen the final image, but when you see what it looks like when it's all together. So we're going to make the main mast, which is that big up and down part that holds all the sails. And now we're going to make the main sail, the big, beautiful sail. And it goes like this. It starts over here. We're going to make a curved line to there, basically touching that. 
It's going to come back and then up and billowing outward. Do the same thing on this side. Start here. It's going to curve. Go up. And then a curved line will connect the two sides. Oops. Didn't quite connect them, though. My aim is just a little bit off today, I think. All right. And we're going to continue that main mast up here. And then have a second smaller sail. Like that. And then a little bit more. And then we're going to have what's called the crow's nest, a.k.a. the lookout area. Across there. Okay. And then one last part, which is the top. And it's going to have a flag. So we'll start a flag there. And there. And like that. All right. Make sure that looks really good. Okay. Now, part of the reason that we drew all of these sails first is that we're going to, the other sails are going to be behind them because they're further back in the ship. So we're going to start on this edge and we're going to go like that and it's going to run all the way into that deck so we don't even see the bottom corner. And then coming up from here, we're going to go up, 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 and then over all the way to that sail. A little bit of a mess connecting them. I'm going to do another sail which goes like this and runs all the way into that. Come from the corner there and arc it up. And we're just make, basically making a reflection of that. Okay, so. Okay. One more here. Okay, and. And then the last final. What I want to do is actually make another flag here. All right. That's a lot of it right there. We're just going to add a few more details, like some more um, lines here to sort of give the indication of the timbers the big pieces of wood that this boat is made out of. Maybe like one or two down here as well. Maybe one or two on this side as well, starting here. Okay, so that's more or less it. Now, if you wanted to, you could add um, skull and crossbones, kind of like a what they call a Jolly Roger. I'm gonna put it up here on this sail. We got our skull. Our skull's gonna have a little eye patch here. And then some teeth. And then, gotta have the crossed bones. Same thing over here, come down, cross them, like that. Cool, cool, Julio. Just gonna use that up a little bit and. All right, so what other details could we add? Well, we could have some more wave details here, kind of. Rolling along. Maybe horizon just slightly above all of these. There we go. 
You can put some clouds in the sky if you wanted to. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. If you wanted to add some cannonballs or some other kind of more piratey things, that would also be okay. Um, and of course, you saw my, my example at the start was in color. You need to do yours in color as well. If you legitimately can't do it in color for some reason, you don't have markers or any kind of colored anything at your house, mom and dad are too busy because they're first responders to go and get them. If you have a legit reason why you can't color this, just email me and let me know. Otherwise, I really do want you to um, add some color, even if it means having to go to the store, or I guess you guys can't go to the store, but having mom or dad go to the store for you and get just like a pack of markers, okay? I wanna see this in color, just like my example was. If you're curious what colors to make yours, just hop back to the beginning of this video when I was showing you the finished example, and um, you can use that as a reference point. Awesome, keep turning them in like you have been. I've been loving your guys' work that I've seen so far. Lots of cool stuff, very happy with how that turned out. So keep up the good work and I will see you guys on one of these videos next week. Bye.